Hey guys, it's Hayes from the Install Bay. Do you have a German car? Does the FM reception suck now that you put an aftermarket radio in it? This might be the reason why. Stay tuned. So what a lot of people don't know is that German cars typically use what's called an amplified antenna. A lot of people get that confused with a motorized antenna. Most cars nowadays, because they have those little shark fins or short antennas, they need some form of an amplifier to increase the reception of that little crappy antenna. So, depending on the manufacturer, they, need, they wire it differently, meaning they get power to it in strange ways. European cars are the strangest. So what a lot of people do is they get this little cool antenna adapter here. So this is what most people end up with when they buy an antenna adapter. And how it works is through the center of the antenna, there's typically a ground that goes through the antenna, and that's it. The, the antenna is grounded throughout the car. And that's a normal style antenna. This is what most European cars need. And what's inside the little silver box is a relay. Now what that relay does is instead of passing ground down the center of the antenna, it allows it to pass a positive down the center of the antenna. And then that positive goes to the car's radio's amplifier for the antenna and turns that on. Without doing that, it never turns on and you get crappy reception. So now, how do you test to see if your car has this style antenna? Well, it's actually fairly easy. You're gonna need one thing, one tool for this one. You're gonna need a test light of some sort that it tells you either positive or negative. You can also use a digital multimeter. That will work the same too. Uh, you're gonna put one probe to ground and then the other probe you're gonna use to probe the back of the radio. So let's see how we do that. Once we've got the radio out of the dash, what we want to do is go to where the antenna plugs in. So go ahead and remove the antenna. So located down inside of the antenna is a male pin that you're gonna to wanna to test for 12 volts with the radio on. Okay, so with this type of probe, it has a red and a green light. Red indi indicates 12 volts, green indicates ground. So when you stick it into the hole, it'll light up red. And the reception will get substantially better. If it lights up green, you won't need the amplified antenna. It'll just have a turn-on built into the harness itself already. Now this car is lighting up red. This is an Audi, so we are going to need the amplified antenna. All right, there you go, that's that. So if you have a German car and your FM reception sucks, this might solve the problem. Keep in mind though, with most German cars, even if you do the, the right antenna adapter, chances are good that the FM could possibly still suck. And if you have a Class D amplifier for, let's say, power on a subwoofer, and it's located anywhere near the back of the car, which is where it's gonna be, that could also cause you severe FM problems in a German car, or any car for that matter, but it just seems that in German cars, it's a lot more susceptible to crappy FM. Right. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, cool. We hope you enjoyed this, yes, Fernando. So thank you for watching. Uh, you guys can find us on Facebook, here in YouTube, and Instagram. And if we did a video you like, subscribe, share, tell. You guys know what to do. You're watching YouTube. You're not amateurs, you're professionals. Yeah, we do this five days a week. Yes, we do. If you have a video you'd like to see us make, Leave in the comments. If it's something we can do, we'll do it. We love making videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. You have a great night as usual, and we will see you later next time. Bye.